Welcome to the show. Today we're going to be preparing Shrimp Scampi by Tyler Florence and you may wonder why. Um, I'm going to show you here. I'm probably just as pink as the shrimp is going to be when we're finished. Hence I'm wearing my red lobster uh, apron because obviously I match very well today. Um, but we are going to be pairing this with a dry wine. It's, it's a medium dry. Um, you always want to use dry wine when you're uh, cooking with shrimp and seafood because it actually um, it balances it out really, really well. So this is going to be Chateau Saint Michel Riesling. So let me grab it. Also feels really good when you have a sunburn. <laughs> okay. But this is the one we're going to be using today. Of course, I always have this right by my side. So we're going to open this up. And um, this actually comes from, um, let me not cut myself open because we know I could do that. <laughs> this comes from Columbia Valley, uh, which is, I guess, a popular area where they make it. But. It's a 2015. I really don't know if that makes a big, big difference in this, but you know, we're gonna have this in what we're cooking, but we also, of course, have to have it in my belly as well, so. Because we all know, I'm a wino. Ha! Ah, best sound on earth. So I like to keep my glass nice and chilled just like me again oh my god it feels so good so here we go we have to have a little bit for us and we're going to use some of this just a little bit of it in the, in the recipe itself i like using this cute thing life is short drink good wine of course that's my motto so we have to try this to make sure it's going to be good enough so Oh, that is really good. It's really not sweet at all. It has a dryness, but it has also kind of a medium sweetness. The best part though, it's 12%. <laughs> so it won't take many of these to get me going. God knows where. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's get all of our ingredients together. Give me a second to do that. I might have to finish half of this and pour me another one. <laughs> so let's get started and get your ingredients ready with me. Cheers. Okay. So as you can see, I got all our ingredients all set. Don't be intimidated. This is not a lot of stuff. Uh, I just separated it out and how we would be using it. I separated it, you hear me, already with this. Anyway, I use shallots versus like a regular onion. It's always a little bit better with seafood, I find. I like the way that it melts down and I also like that it has a little bit of a, a little bit of a sweeter, milder flavor than a whole onion does. So. Let's go through the list. Um, I will tell you, this is all on your stovetop, so you don't have to use your oven. You don't have to heat it up for the middle of the summer or the spring when it gets really hot here in Florida, as you can see. <laughs> so um, it's going to probably take about 25 minutes, and it's four to six servings for everything. And um, let's, uh, let's go through the ingredients. Okay guys, so this is what we're going to be using. You're going to use one pound of linguine, which of course you can choose whatever kind you like. I happen to like the Dream Fields. It's a little lower carb. Um, you're going to use a total of four tablespoons of butter and four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Um, I separated them out because you're going to use the two tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of oil separately first and then you're going to add them later which you'll see in the recipe we also have shallots there's two finely diced two cloves of garlic we minced up uh, we're going to be using a pinch of red pepper flakes which you can do or not but i find it just gives it a little bit of flavor without giving it too much spice a pound of shrimp 
peeled and deveined, which I just use medium size. Kosher salt and ground pepper, um, black pepper, which I just uh, used to go over the, the shrimp before we cook it. A half a cup of dry white wine. Um, you can use a pino, of course, you know what we're using here. The juice of one lemon and a quarter cup of finely uh, chopped parsley leaves. So I have the zest of one whole lemon that's uh, additional to the Tyler Florence recipe. I kind of like it. Um, I love lemon anyway, so I add that. And we have the extra lemon there because I use it for garnish at the end and as well as some extra parsley that um, I'll put on top as well to give it a little bit of a pretty look because things have to be pretty that you have to eat. Okay guys, we got everything all set, all of our ingredients figured out. Hopefully you gathered them all together. So now all we have to do is cook and of course have a little wine as we go. So let's get started. I'm Christy and this is Cork and Fork. Let's go. salt to it. I always add a little bit of olive oil as well. So I do that before I turn turn on the heat because it's the worst thing that oil splashed on you. But she's certainly warm now. Look at that. So we do a couple bit of this. On for the moment. Grab my pasta. Because everything goes pretty quick. Once you get started, you're going to have the pasta cook about six to eight minutes because we want it to be al dente. For those that don't know, that means a little bit chewy. And don't break these for the love of God. It's so sacrilege. They will break apart and lower themselves down there. Don't worry about it. All right, so while we got that going, this is heated up to about medium, my skillet. And we're going to add the first set of ingredients, and that is going to be the olive oil and the butter, the first two tablespoons of each. So you got, here's your first two. It's going to melt down pretty quick. And this is what we're going to be putting the the shallots and the garlic and the red pepper flakes first. So once this melts down, we're going to add the shallots and garlic and red pepper flakes. And like I said, you don't have to use the red pepper flakes. I kind of like it. I think it works pretty good. I'm going to check on this. Make sure it's al dente. Oh yeah, I think it's actually cooked. They say to throw one against the wall. I'm not doing that. Eh, maybe not. There's still a little touched. We want it al dente because when you are going to add everything together later, it's going to be cooking again. Okay, so this is pretty much melted. We can start adding up our ingredients. Here's the shallots. We want to cook these until they're translucent. Loosened. See, there's, there's that wine again. Translucent, which only take a couple of minutes, maybe two, three minutes tops. Get those going. Here's our garlic. Remember, these are two cloves minced. Oh my God, that's lovely. I'm just mixing this bad boy up. First of all, we need a little bit of extra. 
second glass. It's not good from here on out, guys. Oh, look, I'm dropping stuff on the floor. I'm telling you. All right, so this is when we're going to eat. It asks for a pinch to me. About that is a pinch. You can add as much or as little as you want. You don't have to have too much. But like I said, you don't really need a whole lot just to give it that flavor. Okay, so these are translucent. I probably should have been doing the salt and pepper on the shrimp in the meantime. All right, so these are just seasoned salt, pepper, just a little bit of that. We're going to add all this together. Look at that. Now, we want these guys to be pink like me by the time it's done. Let's do a quick rinse here so we don't make a mess. Stir these guys up. We drained out the pasta already. We put it aside because we're going to add that later on. And once I dropped that stuff on the floor, what I was going to say is once these turn pink, we're actually going to take these off the heat, take everything out of the pan and set it aside. And we do that so that we could add the wine and the lemon juice and the zest, get that warmed up, and then we'll incorporate everything together. All right, guys. I'm getting excited because there's wine, there's shrimp, there's pink here and here. It's going to be good. All right, so I raised up the heat a little bit on my shrimp because, of course, they were a little cold. So we want to make sure that these cook pretty quickly because we don't want them to get all gross and disgusting. So as you may see right now, they're starting to really pretty up for me. And I got this. I did wash this. I promise you I washed it and rinsed it. We're going to put the shrimp back in that pot, pan, whatever the hell. Oh my god, I wish you guys could smell this because it smells unbelievable. Just wait till I add the wine. That's all I gotta say. That's when shit starts really getting good. <laughs> Can you tell the wine's talking? I think the wine's talking, guys. Oh my goodness, look at how pretty that is. That's beautiful. Nice and pink. Just like me. So we're gonna take these out, separate them out, and then add our wine. Um, add the wine, the lemon juice, and the zest. All right, so we removed our shrimp over to the side. Now we're gonna add the wine, the lemon juice, and the zest before this starts getting too hot on me. There's our zest. Ooh, smell. Here's our wine. This is the only amount that I will give up. The rest is mine. And here's our zest. Again, because I just love it. It's just so good. All right, so what we want to do is we want to bring this up to a boil. <laughs> we're going to bring this up to a boil, and then we're going to incorporate everything. Um, first, we're going to add the other two tablespoons of butter and the other two tablespoons of olive oil, of course. And then when that's melted, we'll add the shrimp and all that fun stuff. So we're going to have fun. Looks like she's starting to boil. Look at that. All right, guys, we're getting into the home stretch. You can see she's bubbling up over here. So now let's go grab our last few ingredients. We're going to get the other two tablespoons of olive oil, the other two tablespoons of butter, and our parsley. So, let me put this in here. Warm her back up. Excuse me, I got a little bit something. And here's our olive oil. So this is going to make a nice sauce. 
once this melts down. So once this is melted, then we're going to add the shrimp. All right, so she's melted down. So we're going to re-add, re-add. Boy, I'm telling you, you got to love wine. We're going to add this back in. And then the parsley and the pasta. And then we get to put this on our plate and plate this baby up. Nothing better than that. Let's get our pasta, which we have drained. I'm going to lower this down to about a chew because we don't need all that. You really ideally should be using plastic tongs for this, but I don't have any. So this is what we're using. The plastic won't break up the pasta as much as this, the metal ones do. So you can see how this could definitely feed four to six people once we get it all done. All right, guys, we're going to plate this up and then we're going to see how it looks and uh, how it tastes, which is, of course, most important especially with all the drinking. I'm sure it'll be great. <laughs> all right, guys, we're going to plate this up. See you in a few. All right, let's plate this baby up. You want to add a little bit more olive oil. This is regular olive oil that I use. I just happen to put it in this fancy container. It's only like another tablespoon or something, maybe another two tablespoons, just so it's a little bit more liquid. We're going to add salt and pepper, a little bit more on top. Not everybody likes a lot, so just don't go crazy. We don't need to go crazy. Because remember, these guys are from the sea. They are salty already. Come on already. All right, guys, so let's plate up. Gonna mix this up a little bit more. Make a mess. One of the things I probably would have done a little bit differently was I would probably take the shrimp's tails off because it'd probably be a little bit easier to eat, although most fancy places probably would like the tails because it's supposed to look prettier. I don't know. But um I think it's better off without them. This way I can just dig right in. Look at that, huh? Couple of these bad boys in here. No, no, don't do it. Look at them trying to escape. So what we're gonna do is cut up the lemon Add that to it. You can tell this is my plate right here because I like I like food. I'm gonna bring this over here out of the way. And this is just so it looks pretty, guys. I like to cut it right in half. And do a couple slices. One on either side. Slice it just halfway through. Do a little twist. We can all do this. A little twisty. Do a little twisty. Maybe we'll go this way. It likes to go that way a little bit more. All right, see, when you're drinking, it doesn't go as well. Stay. And then I like to add this to it in case anybody wants to 
spray a little bit more lemon juice on top because of course always more is better right this is just a little more parmesan and parmesan parsley you can add parmesan to this it would actually be a pretty good match for it and this is dried parsley that I've dried from fresh okay guys so that's the show for today um, I want to thank you guys all for joining me and hopefully we'll be doing this a lot more often <laughs> um, watch me drink have a drink with me and cook with me because there's nothing better than that um, I'd like you also to email some recipes to me and any advice you might have because I'm really not the expert cook I just like doing it and it's fun and I love to share stuff with you guys so please email me at Christy at Cork and Fork TV um, I'm down for whatever you guys want to send me so here's the dish for today and I can't wait to dig in because with all the drinking I've done I probably need to eat something right about now so enjoy make sure you share this with your family and remember family fun drinking not always in that order here you go guys enjoy short drink good wine because basically it'll just save it a lot better put it right back in oh wait see I screwed up I didn't even pour the wine yet <laughs> um, a regular I know I keep doing that <laughs> no it's okay I, I find that shallots oh no 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 do, do that all over again oh okay <laughs> Okay guys, we got all of, all of the, <laughs> of course, because you tell me to do it again. Okay guys, we got of all, all... <laughs> that's the wine. Okay guys, <laughs> I gotta stop drinking it. <laughs> and then you're standing there laughing as no. All right guys, we got all, all of, <laughs> I can't. I don't know why I can't do it now. All right, shh, stop. Don't even look at me. <laughs> oh, who's up? And remember, family, fun, drinking, not always in that order. Here you go, guys. Enjoy. Perfect, perfect. That was perfect. I don't know what I said.